Excuse me, Mr. Grebner? Oh, Captain, come in. Thanks for dropping by. Please, sit down. I'd like to talk to you about getting my uh, furniture out of the Castle Drive apartment. It's sealed up, as you know, and I've already, I've already found another apartment. I'd like so to introduce the two men who are conducting the investigation for the crime. Uh, this is Bill Ivory, Robert Shaw. Coffee? No. No, oh, thanks. Captain, uh, you were inducted into the Army when? Last July. Uh-huh. That's uh, nine months. You're a group surgeon for the Special Forces? Yes, I'm, I'm afraid I, I don't quite understand. <laughs> we just want to get the whole story, Captain. Uh, everything you remember. Oh. Okay. Uh, before we start, I, I have to advise you of your rights. That sounds very ominous. Well, you do have the right to remain absolutely silent. Uh, you don't have to answer any questions. I'm ready. All right. Uh, you can stop at any time. Would you like advice of counsel? No. Uh, then tell us your story, Captain. Let's see. Monday night, my my wife went to bed, and uh, I was reading, and I must have gone to bed about two o'clock. My little girl, Christy, had gone into bed with my wife. She'd wet the bed on my side, so I brought her in her own room. I, I don't remember if I changed her or not. I gave her a bottle and went out to the couch because my side of the bed was wet. And I, I went to sleep on the couch. Daddy! Daddy! The next thing I know, I heard some screaming. I saw some, I saw some people at the foot of the bed. I don't know if I heard the girl first or... I think I saw her first. I I don't know if it was a flashlight or a, a candle, but it, it looked to me like she was holding something. My instinctive thought was that she's holding a candle. What, what the hell is she holding a candle for? Kill the pigs. Ass is groovy. And this guy started walking down between the coffee table and the couch, and raise something over his head. I just got a glance at this girl with a kind of, kind of light on her face. Kill the pigs. I remember thinking to myself, see, I work out with the boxing glove sometimes. Jeez, that guy throws a hell of a punch. I got this terrific pain in my chest. Still halfway on the couch and half off. And I saw, you know, a, a blade. I, I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. I just, I, I just saw something that looked like a blade at the time. I saw some legs, not covered like I saw the top of some boots. I, and the next thing I remember, I was lying in the hallway at the end of the hallway floor, and I was, I was freezing cold, and it was, it was very quiet. I had this, uh, 
I was dizzy, you know? I wasn't really real alert. My teeth were chattering, and I went down and to the bedroom. My wife was lying on the, the floor next to the bed, and there were... There was a knife in her upper chest. I pulled it out. I tried to give her artificial respiration, but the, the air was coming out of her chest. was finding it hard to breathe, and I felt dizzy. In any case, when I, when I went back to check my wife, I then went back and checked my kids. And I checked for, for pulses and stuff. But I, I had all this, uh, you know, blood on my hands. Where did this man strike you first? On the head? Right, I was, uh, I was just sitting. I was just, I was just sitting in bed, and and there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of shouting or anything. I mean, she wasn't, she wasn't jumping up and down saying "kill him." I mean, there wasn't any. The the point, the point was that it, 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 it seemed, you know, when, when, when you know, it's like in, uh, when you see Easy Rider. I made the mistake of going to see that film. You. They have all these. They have all these stop action things, and that's what it. That's what it seemed like to me. Captain McDonald, you told one of our investigators earlier that you were wearing a pajama top, and it uh, got pulled over your head or something. Right. Well, all I all I know now is that I, that I'm struggling now, and after the first time I was hit, I remember struggling with these guys, and and my pajama top. I don't, I don't know if it was ripped forward or it was pulled over my head. I don't. Th I don't think it was pulled over my head because I don't remember actually like back backing my head through it, but all of a sudden it's, it's around my hands, and uh, I just I remember I remember it was in my way, and uh, and my hands were just sort of kind of just wrapped up in the thing, and I remember when I w when I woke up uh, when. I I ended up laying on the floor. No, I forgot to say that. Uh, when I woke up, my hands, they were still wrapped up in the thing and everything. Um, and I, t I took it off as I, as I went into the bedroom. 